Our tale of the tape reveals some details about these fighters. Shannon Rose is about to Ladies get this fight officially gentlemen. started. We welcome you to the Centurion Ballroom. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, fighting out of Japan, the mechanic. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jujitsu fighter, fighting out of Brazil, Pitbull. Você está pronto? Você está pronto? Vamos lá, lutem! And this bout is underway. The combatants open the fight with a sign of respect, and one of the reasons why this sport is so great. Well, it didn't take long for him to take this fight to the ground. Nicely executed takedown. Great job in slipping the strike. Good elbow to the head. I know fighters would rather take a punch to the head. Oh, wow! That's the knee that... Oh, there's what may have been a fight-saving maneuver as he wraps him up following a nasty strike. He gets the tie clinch, and this could very well be the beginning of the end. They now create separation. Oh, what a vicious shot! His opponent's wondering when the canvas turned into a sheet of ice. He's looking to derail this guy with those kicks. He's taking his wheels off. Nice transition into the double underhooks. The two of them are now separated. Oh, it's a difficult strike to land, and he can't connect with the flying knee. Now we're seeing some space as they disengage. Oh, some pretty impressive defense on display as he was able to use his quick reflexes to block what looked like a knockout head kick. That's it, that's it, way to go. Now he's up on his feet. Connects. Ah, oh, this is takedown defense 101. Wow, we're being treated to a lesson in ground fighting 101. What a reversal! What a. Oh, I don't think his opponent was expecting that one. That reversal looked almost too easy. And they are battling against the fence, looking for superior position. The two of them are now separated. Oh, he drops them right down to the canvas. And that more is how you take somebody down. Power double, through the hips, and straight to the canvas. Good. Beautifully executed right hand to the head. He doesn't block the punch. He scores with a left punch. Oh, he's done a great job of neutralizing the arm. This could spell trouble. There's the double color tie, also known as the tie clinch. The two come apart. He attempted a spin. He puts him down on the canvas with a double leg. He nails him in the noggin with that right hand. Oh, he delivers that left shot to the body. Oh, he hits him with a right. Beautifully executed right hand to the head. Oh, he just blasted him 
with a lethal left hand. Oh, he's unable to connect. He puts him down on the canvas with a double leg. He scores with that right to the head. He lands a punch to the head. Good kick. Oh, he was looking to surprise him, but just missed with that spin kick. Oh, and that Superman punch is grounded by his defense. Great job of blocking that strike. They're not leaving much space here as we are being treated to some clinch work. They now create separation. This is the over-under, which usually leads to a takedown. Now we're seeing some space as they... Oh, he drops him right down to the canvas with a double leg. Beautifully executed right hand to the head. Nails him in the noggin with that right hand. We're seeing some ground action, and fundamentally, it's strike to pass and pass to strike. That's the key. He doesn't connect with the spin kick. He connects with a punch to the body. He secures the tie clinch, and this could be trouble. They are fighting for position up against the cage. He drops to the canvas, obviously looking for a little ground action. He grabs a hold of his neck in what is known as the tie clinch. The two of them are now separated. We've got a tie clinch fighting at close quarters. The two come apart. Oh, he's... Ooh, a nasty-looking knee finds its target. There's a left punch to the body. He catches him with that punch. Oh, he nails him in the noggin with that right hand. Nicely delivered punch to the head. His corner must have told him to kick because he's banging it out in this round. Oh, man, he did a great job in avoiding that takedown. Oh, good sprawl here. Good hips, good position. He's not going down. No longer clinched. They've separated from one another. He secures the tie clinch, and this could be trouble. They now create separation. He's taking all of us on another trip to takedown city. He's able to utilize all his strength, and he now finds himself in dominant position. What a reversal. He doesn't connect with that front kick. He lands a nice-looking left hook to his head. They hook up in a clinch. Good elbow to the head. From forehead to chin, that is beautiful technique. No longer clinched, they've separated from one another. Oh, and he's unable to defend against that roundhouse kick. They come together in a clinch. Oh, wow, he's going for the submission. Can he cinch it in? He looks like he might have it here. Oh, 
Oh man, he has worked diligently on trying to secure that arm. Will it pay off? There's the tap, and thankfully we didn't hear the snap. It's an arm bar submission victory and an impressive one at that. Well, here's a chance to revisit some of the action from the previous third. Shannon Rose is standing by with the official decision.